What's going on everyone? My name is Clean the Gamer and today I'm bringing you guys a 100 plus kill game on Black Ops 2. Uh, this is actually a demolition game on Nuketown 2025. The new playlist Nuketown 24-7 is amazing. I really love the fact that they're not getting rid of it and that it's going to be uh, in the game for as long as the game is out. So as far as Nuketown 24-7 goes on Black Ops 1, it was an amazing playlist as well. Uh, I'm not too sure about demolition on this map. As you can see, the spawns are not very good. So I'm not too sure if they're going to keep demolition in this playlist. If they don't, that kind of sucks. But Nevertheless, I love this playlist in Black Ops 1, so I'm definitely going to love it in this game. Uh, I've really been leveling up a lot in this. So the next couple of games that you guys might see from me are probably going to be on Nuketown. I will get up some gameplays of different maps, but putting that to the side, I wanted to talk about the game thus far. The game has been out for about six days now. This is the sixth day into the game's life cycle, and I, there are some issues on the PS3 that I don't like. I'm going to talk about things that I do like as well, just sort of balance out everything. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoy this gameplay in the background while I get into the topic. So right off the bat, the things that I don't like, the first thing on my list, which was something that I noticed right from the start of having the game, and I did get the game early, so I actually thought this was something that was wrong with my controller when I got the game, or I didn't think it was something in the game that was implemented there. It's actually when you press select on the PS3 and then you press triangle, uh, it'll bring up your sort of profile player card thing, and it'll start sinking your trophies in the middle of the game and it's it's a bad habit of mine to press select and then constantly double tap triangle just sort of uh, keep my fingers loose while I'm playing so it's a really bad habit for me and uh, the fact that they added that into the into this Call of Duty is really weird they've never done this in any other cause I think this has been for Xbox so uh, you Xbox players might be a bit more conditioned to it towards it but uh, for PS3 this select plus plus tri press triangle thing has been uh, kind of annoying lately I've sort of been getting used to it so it's not too bad but it was one of the things I really didn't like. Uh, the next thing on my list of things I didn't like was bad scores, e or sorry, bad connection equals bad scores. This game is very connection based, and for someone who has a bad connection like me, it is not easy to get those good scores. So for me to drop 100 kills in this game, even the air support getting kills, I'm still gonna post it because 100 kills is 100 kills. Uh, my connections are, my connection speeds are really not that good. I have about a 1.5 megabyte download uh, speed and a 0.9 upload at the best. Uh, that's pretty bad in my opinion, so if you have worse, that's uh, I applaud you if you do good at this game because it is really hard to play this game on bad connection. The next thing on my list of things I don't like was PS3 always seems to get the bad end of the game. Uh, it seems like since they always make the game on Xbox and then they port it over to PS3, PS3 always encounters the most problems. Uh, that's just something I didn't like in general about the game. They, they still haven't fixed many of the issues like uh, servers uh, disconnecting, the game freezing in general. My PS3 used to freeze a lot and I, I know this issue has been with a lot of PS3 players also. So that kind of sucks but I think they fixed the PS3 freezing for the most part. Other than that, it's pretty good overall as far as fixing things. That's, thing, that's one thing that I do like about this game so far. They do fix the problems very fast. Treyarch is really good about that. They, they'll try to get down to the bottom of situations, uh, of issues really quickly. And if they can fix a problem really fast, they definitely will. So that's one thing I do like about them. Uh, the next thing I didn't like about this game is the server disconnects, freezing PS3s, and parties getting split up. This is a really, really weird glitch. Sometimes you'll be in a party of six people, and then all of a sudden the match will start, and then three people in your party will be on your team, and three people will be on the other team. It's a glitch that I've encountered uh, several times now, and also with the freezing PS3 thing, that still occurs, although not as much. My PS3 does freeze sometimes now in the middle of a game, and that never used to happen before. Not too sure what that's all about, if it's a new glitch that sort of came up through fixing the other glitch, but I can just hope for the best that they'll fix these things in the near future. Uh, the next thing I didn't like was there's no snow maps. I was kind of a fan of the snow maps, like Derail and uh, on Black Ops 1, there was Summit, which was one of my favorite maps. Uh, it's not really a big deal to me because because I don't pay attention to that sort of stuff too much, but I still think it could have been cooler if they did include some sort of snow maps. Uh, one thing I do like, though, is that they didn't put any nighttime or any rainy maps because those were really annoying. Uh, there is one nighttime map called, like, uh, Plaza. It's like a nightclub sort of thing. But even that map is kind of uh, sort of like a brightened kind of night map because there are all lights everywhere and everything. Uh, there, this is just a portion of the things I don't like about the game. I sort of condensed it into a small list. But the last thing on my list was that I can't tell how many points are left on my score streak before I can get another uh, score streak reward. It's really weird. Like before in Modern Warfare 3, there would be like little bars that would get lit up whenever you got another kill or whenever you capped a flag. And then that would put you one more closer towards your next kill streak reward. But in this game, it's just sort of like a little white bar that constantly goes higher and higher up. So you sort of have to guess. And sometimes I'll be like, oh, I'm one away from getting this reward and then I'll get a kill but I won't get the reward because I thought I was one away but really I was probably like one and a half or two away 
The first thing on my list of things I do like are the mute all but party button. That has been probably the most useful button in the game that I've ever seen. Most most useful uh, sort of additive into the game that I've seen so far. Although one thing I don't like about that is that you can't use it while you're in a game. You can only use it in the pre-game lobby. So it's sort of like they half-assed it. They kind of just put it in there, but they didn't sort of finish it off. It is annoying when teams leave and then a, a bunch of other people start joining and you can just hear their mics sort of blaring in your ear while you're trying to play the game. Uh, so that's one thing I did that I did sort of didn't like. But the mute all but party button is a really good addition to the game. So I do applaud Treyarch for that. And the fixing problems fast was also on my list of things I did like. So that's really awesome. And also pro probation which is one of the things that i really love about this game uh the fact that if you leave too many games too fast you get a sort of timeout it sort of gives an incentive to not leave games and for someone who always is facing these teams that constantly leave when we're doing good against them it is irritating to have to see people leaving the games. i know that if you're doing bad it's not really fun and you do have to leave the games every now and then but it is irritating to see that uh if they do leave the game then there's no one else for you to kill. Uh, also, one more thing that I don't like is actually the fact that when servers disconnect, it counts as a loss. I started off the I started off this game with like about a 10 win loss, and then I ended up getting like 10 server disconnects in a row and a lot of other bull crap that brought me down to a one win loss, which really sucks. I do like my win loss being high, so uh, the fact that they didn't fix that sort of server disconnecting thing really sucks. Uh, another thing that I did like about the game was there's more emblem layers, which is really cool. It's more uh, sort of ability to customize all your things, which is really awesome. And uh, I know in Black Ops 1, they didn't even give you all the letters in, in the emblems, uh, in the emblem creator. So now there's like all the letters from A to Z in the alphabet and all the numbers. So that's awesome. You can put it in like your YouTube channel like I did uh, in my emblem. And the final thing on my list of things that I do like is that there's no nighttime and rainy maps, which I did state earlier, but uh, I'm just going to say it again. I really did hate all the nighttime and rainy maps like wet work and downpour and all those other uh, really boring maps they're just sort of drab and give the game sort of a really bad tone uh, that's pretty much the end of the commentary guys if there are things that you can relate to in my commentary and the things that I didn't like and the things that I did like definitely let me know in the comment section below leave a like rating if you did enjoy this video and the gameplay again this was about a hundred and eight and sixteen I think the final score was uh, sorry for all of the sort of fast forwarding here it was about a 15 minute gameplay so I try to condense it down and bring it down to about an eight or ten uh, it's around there somewhere. One more thing I want to add is that at the end of this video, you're going to see a clip of me prestiging. And if you're into all of my stats and everything, I show them all on the screen. Uh, my stats have increased since then, I've, and I've prestiged again. So I'll be posting another clip at the end of another video later on in this week. So thank you again for watching this video, guys. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. My name is Clay the Gamer. Remember to get husky, and I'll see you all with the next Black Ops 2 video. Thank you. Bye-bye.